going on? Here to give you another number talk, but this time it's actually about fractions. We have a total amount of squares that are right in front of us. Some are yellow, some are blue, some are red. And we're going to be thinking about fractions to represent each color squared out of how many squares there are in total. So I want you to think right now about how many squares are yellow out of all of the squares that you see on the screen. Think about it. Now, I want you to think about how many squares are blue out of all of the squares that you see on the screen. And remember, the denominator represents how many you have to make a whole. So all of these squares make a rectangle. So how many squares actually combine together to make this entire one rectangle? Now I want you to think about what fraction of all of the rectangles are red. So what fraction would represent how many square, how many red squares you have out of all of the squares that you see on the screen? Pause your video, write it down. And just a little hint, hint, is more than one fraction to represent the yellow squares is more than one fraction to represent the blue and is more than one fraction to represent the red. So pause your video. When you wrote it down, when you took your best shot, resume the video and see what the answers are. All right, so if you pause the video and gave it a try, give yourself a pat on the back. I'm gonna give you the answers. See, let's count how many squares there are in total to make this one entire rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So there are twelve total squares. Now there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of twelve squares are yellow. Hmm. Now, also what I noticed is that half of this entire rectangle is yellow. So I could actually say six twelfths are yellow or one half of all of the squares are yellow. Now, if I decide to look at the blue squares and I want to determine hmm what fraction of all of the squares are blue I can count them so we have one two three three out of twelve another fraction would be if you looked at it like this let's say we looked at the columns we have four columns oops we have four columns let me change the color this is another column over here this is another column it's kind of sloppy And this is another, ooh, <laughs> this is another column over here. So we actually have four columns if we look at it like that. Now what you will notice is that one out of the four columns are blue. So one fourth of all the squares are blue. And also one, two, three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So 1 fourth or 3 twelfths. And then we look at the red. It's the same exact as the blue. 1, 2, 3. 3 out of 12 squares. But when we look at it as 4 equal columns, then another fraction for the red could be 1 fourth.
Maybe you got both fractions for each color. Maybe you just got one fraction to represent each color. Give yourself a pat on the back. And that was our number talk for today.